Well, when it comes to the Oscars, I think that the whole thing is desperately seeking attention, which is fascinating to us here in Australia, but also kind of repulsive. Um, and how do they desperately seek attention? They seek it in their clothes. We've got tiny little short shorts. We've got fishnet stockings. We've got bosoms hanging out. Um, you know, we've got a lot of leg. We've got um, a lot of what might be in some circumstances inappropriate uh, costuming, but it's it's very artful and attracts attention. Um, the only person who doesn't want to attract attention is Hugh Grant. And Hugh Grant was interviewed by Ashley Graham and his response was fascinating because it was in complete contrast to what everyone else was doing. So he puts his hands on his hip, he looks away while he's being asked the questions, he closes his eyes when he's back to her, mm, he pulls his top lip over as though he's saying, I'm not answering. And in the end, he drops the mic and just sort of, oh, walks off um, with total disrespect. What was that about? You know, did something happen for him beforehand that made him very angry? Was this a calculated way forward? Um, it would seem that in with such a spotlight in the media that this was possibly calculated as a complete contrast to what everyone else was doing. I think that that's a possibility that we should look at um, and uh, I think that Ashley Graham's response to him was magnificent she held her state she kept smiling she kept upright she kept friendly and then at the end she turns to the camera thank you very much um, she was really brilliant uh, because it really would have thrown her dramatically when are we going to catch on any publicity is good publicity and as you're saying, Hugh Grant is all over the world in the media. When does Hugh Grant get all over the world? He doesn't have a movie. He doesn't have it. And he's all over the media. Hello, Katik. Well done, Hugh. Jamie Lee Curtis, and that was in the news mostly because of Angela Bassett's response to her winning. I put it to you that every single one of those actors thinks, what will happen if I win? What will happen if I lose? What am I going to do? And that Angela Bassett decided she would show dis concern that she hadn't won. So it's freeze. Now you would think that somebody who freezes, they would freeze, but she was not frozen. And you could see that in that she froze and moved her eyes. Now that said, she was not frozen. It was a, it was a decision that she was making in freedom. She was not in shock. And then later on, she did actually clap. And then the gentleman next to her held her hand. You know, it was clearly painful, but I also, also think that it was no doubt calculated that she would show her discontent. Chris Rock. Chris Rock is a hero. Why is Chris Rock a hero? Well, first of all, he responds. He does not react. And he responded in the moment at the actual Oscars when he got the slap. But now he's taken one year to actually respond to what he did. And that's given the case that it is was absolutely inexcusable that he got slapped in the first place and the Oscars recognised that by making a statement and saying if you if you slap someone you will get an award and be able to make a speech. They made fun of themselves allowing that to happen. So he responded not reacted in crisis which was absolutely fantastic. The next thing is that he recognised that hurt people hurt people. Well, Chris Rock is making a definite decision not to overshare. He is, as I said, responding, not reacting. You know, he settles down and looks at what is my brand and how can my reaction to this reflect my brand? And his, his reaction was he was thoughtful and funny, which was difficult to do in a situation where he was really hurt. So that's very much his brand. Maybe the brand of Will Smith and his wife are ones where they don't care and they put it all out there, um, but they're very different brands. If you are reacting, not responding, that means going in bang, 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 without even thinking, then really you need to think it's a change plan. What are you doing now? Recognizing that you have that trigger incident and we all have triggers, but bring that down, bring that down uh, so that you leave it for real dangerous situations. And then, so become aware 
Think about what you could be doing. What could you be doing? I mean, you could be taking a moment to think about it and wait. And then you have to practice, 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 practice. Get in these situations and pretend it's happening and going, no, I do nothing. Um, actually practice your response. It's, it's a classic, it's a, it's a behavior, it's a habit, it's something you've allowed. So be aware, look at what you could be doing and practice the new behavior. It is a practice thing and the amateur practices till they get it right, the professional practices till they can't get it wrong. And also realizing what are the consequences of that behavior. And if they're very negative, seriously, why would you continue? What is a habit, basically, a selfish habit? Um, think about it.